In this module, we're going to add state management to our app using Pinia. Well, what is state management? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the problem that it solves. So I have three of our app's components open here, app.view, which is our root view component, then modals view.view, which is this page, which is a direct child of app.view. Then I have modal.view, which is this modal, which is a direct child of modals view.view. And we saw earlier on that we could pass data from app.view, this user data object, down to its grandchild component modal.view using props. And in order to do this, we had to pass a prop down to our router view component. And then in modals view.view, we had to receive this prop by setting up a defined props method. Then we had to pass this prop down again to our modal component. And then in modal.view, we had to receive this prop again by adding it to our props object. And then we could finally use this data in modal.view. And we saw that this approach was a real pain in the butt. So we then improved upon this by using provide inject which meant that in app.view, we could just provide this user data object once, thus making it available to all of app.view's descendant components, all of its children and grandchildren. And then in modal.view, we could just inject this user data object once and then use it in our template. And this was definitely an improvement, but we still might have some problems here. Number one, Provide will only make data available to descendants of the component where we use it. So it'll only make the data available to children and grandchildren of that component. But what if we have a component which is not a descendant of app.view, which is not part of its component tree, and we want that component to be able to access this data? In this case, provide is not going to work because it only makes data available to descendants of this component. And the other problem is, what if we want to be able to change this data that's in app.view from its grandchild component modal.view? Well, right now we would need to trigger a custom event on modal.view, listen out for that event on modalsview.view, trigger another custom event, listen out for that event on app.view before we can finally trigger a method on app.view, which then changes the data. And again, this gets very messy. And if we want to change this data from a component which is outside of app.view's component tree, then we can't do that at all, unless we're using an event bus library or something like that. And even using event bus libraries can get pretty messy too. And state management allows us to solve this problem by storing all of our app's core data and all of the methods related to that data in one single centralized place which is outside of all our components, but in a way that all of our components can access all of the data and methods. And the place where we store these data and methods, we call a store. And because when we created our project, we chose to automatically add Pinya to our app, the build tool has already created a Pinya store file for us. So let's open that up. So I'll open up the Explorer and we wanna to go to source, stores and counter.js. So in a Pinia store, we have three main sections, state, actions, and getters. And state is where we store all of our data properties. So you can see a counter data property here. And don't be confused by the fact that we've created a counter app. This code has not been generated based on anything that we've been doing. This is just the default store that ships when we add Pinia to our project using the build tool. So we have state where we store all of our data properties. So we're going to be adding our counter and counter title data properties here. Then we have actions where we can store methods which can access the data that's in the state and also modify it. So you can see we have an increment action here, which is increasing this counter that's in the state. And we'll be adding our increase counter and decrease counter methods here later on. And finally, we have getters. And here we place methods which can grab something from the state and then possibly modify it in some way and then return it. So you could think of these as kind of like computed properties. And a state management store like this is available everywhere within our app. So all of the components in our app 
no matter which component tree they're a part of or how deeply nested they are, can access all of the state actions and getters that are in this store. So this makes it much easier for us to manage our app's core data and all the methods related to that data. And it also means we don't need to worry about having to pass data from parent to child to child using props or provide. And we don't need to worry about bubbling up events from child to parent to parent, etc. Since all of our app's components have access to everything that's in this store. And in a view three app, there's a few different ways that we can integrate state management. And let's discuss these next. This clip was taken from my full course, View 3 Composition API with Pinia and Veet. If you're familiar with View 2 and the Options API, this course will teach you everything you need to know to switch over to the Composition API. Grab the full course with my discount at dannys.link slash composition API, or you can watch almost half of the content for free here on YouTube. And I'll put that up here. And if that's not what you're seeing right now, then make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss that.